In the upper left hand corner of the window you see that both sides do have a nuclear hold and that the Iraqi side has a release timer set to two minutes. When that counts down to zero then the Iraqi side will be free to use nuclear weapons. In the scenario you see a mobile missile site. The red circle indicates that it's a site of weapons of mass destruction, in this case nuclear missiles, or in another example it could be chemical weapons. The coalition side also has nuclear weapons, it has a B-52 at a base, and the weapon load on that B-52 by virtue of the K designation indicates that it is nuclear weapons as well, but because of the hold they'll never be released to take off. Also in this scenario you see that the coalition side has an airborne laser, an EA-747 with the coil ABL. This can be used as an anti-ballistic missile weapon. If we start the scenario, and I'll run it at 10x, accelerated time, you'll see that the timer starts counting down. In the final minute, the timer becomes red, and then when it reaches zero, the Iraqi side is free to fire its missiles, the red dot indicating that the missile is either nuclear or chemical.